Hi all, greetings from Team PMG. Today we are going to discuss about foreign material and its control in food industry. So let us start. First, we will discuss about foreign materials. Then we we shall discuss on the reason for emphasizing the foreign material control programs. Further down, we shall have a brief understanding on HSCCP and its importance in food industry. And then we shall discuss the physical and biochemical foreign materials and its control programs before concluding. So, what is a foreign material? We can consider any material as a foreign material if it shall not be present in the final product. It is hence considered as a potential hazard. Usually foreign bodies make the food unfit and dangerous for human consumption. Hence it is very important to understand the potential hazards in food industry and their control. The importance of having a foreign material control program is basically to maintain the quality and to ensure safer products to the consumers. It is one of the most important factor in effective implementation of the company's food safety program. Every food plant should have a food safety program and universally accepted and the most commonly used uh, program is HSCCP. So, what is HSCCP? HSCCP is a systematic and preventive approach used in the food industry to control the foreign materials uh, or hazards and the risk uh, caused by these hazards in the final food product. It can be used at all stages of a food chain from raw material reception to the processing to the packaging and distribution. So the industry which follows HSCCP will have an HSCCP team with team leaders and team members. In HSCCP, foreign materials are considered as hazards and the chance of contamination from hazard is known as risk. Risk relate to a situation, event or scenario where a recognized hazard may result in harm. And HSCCP is designed in such a way so that the potential hazard or points of potential failure that can occur are easily identified. The location where a potential hazard can occur in a food processing line is termed as critical control point. So, the HSCCP team in a food plant does a proactive approach to identify these potential CCPs or critical control points and sets the critical limits in those points. And the monitoring of these critical limits enables the process to be verified as being in control or, or not. And the output is a documented HSCCP plan to control these scenarios. Now let us discuss about hazards. First, first we will discuss physical hazards or physical contaminants. Physical contaminants uh, are common in food industry such as pebbles, ferrous substances, dust, husk etc. The major controls used for physical foreign materials are magnet trap, sieves and screens, metal detectors etc. And coming to magnet trap, they are used to uh, separate ferrous contaminants in food and they are essential in dry food industry, industry powders, mixtures, formula food industries, etc. Next comes the sieves and screens. They are used to separate particles which has higher particle size than our product. Simplex and duplex filters are one of the most common filters used in dairy industry. And next comes metal detectors. They are placed over conveyor belts in food production line to identify and to, and to remove the metal contaminants. 
X-ray detectors. They are used for inspecting multiple contaminants. They are also placed across conveying belts and they identify any hole material with the help of X-ray vision technology. Next, we move on to biochemical foreign material control. Usually, every food plant contains single or multiple quality control laboratories to test the quality of material at each stage of production. The intensity of uh, quality inspection depends upon the nutritive value and the probability of contamination or risk caused by the hazards. Dairy industry is one of the most critical industry when considering the risk of contamination. So there are generally multiple testing points in dairy plants to test and analyze the quality of a product at its uh, different stage of production. So by that we are concluding the discussion. So food contamination can be a, a potential cause of epidemic in a modern society and severity can increase in the postmodern era. This is because contamination is true uh, crucial when we are continuously scaling up and automating manufacturing units. Advanced technologies are regularly getting added up in the processing line for this reason and it is very essential as well. So let us wind up today's discussion by saying that quality is never an accident. It is always the result of intelligent efforts. Stay tuned to PMG Engineering for more content on food processing and engineering. Thank you.